On today's episode of Dapa Daniel, I am going to be going over Main Street Frisco. We're gonna start from 423 and go all the way out to Custer. The left side is gonna be the start of the trails, which in there, they're gonna have an HOA of $840 annually. They'll have an active four bed, three and a half bath, 2001, 3,278 square feet. I saw some stuff, it seems like Frisco might be bringing another HEB. That could be the potential. And also guys, uh, Universal Studios, here's a quick update on that, has been put on a pause. I think the people need to fight. Guys, the Fields of Frisco is gonna be selling Highland Homes, 1.8 million. Uh, so that makes sense. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video today. I am going to be going over Main Street Frisco. We're gonna start from 423 and go all the way out to Custer. So basically on the border of Little Elm, all the way to the border of McKinney, just going down Main Street, showing you guys what Main Street has to offer. So sit back, relax, enjoy this drive through on this uh, pretty nice day. We've had some good weather over the past couple of days. And also wanna give a shout out to all the people that have subscribed. I'm now over a thousand subscribers. So thank you so much guys. And I also hit a thousand subscribers on my birthday. So that was a really good birthday present. Uh, for me. I just turned 25, so basically that means quarter life crisis engage. We're gonna be turning right onto Main Street. The first neighborhood I'll talk about is Springview Estates. Now, majority of these neighborhoods I've actually gone through and uh, driven through or talked about in my previously driving tour videos. So if you wanna see more about that, go to my, my Frisco playlist. You can see more of the, the roads that go north to south or south to north, depending on how you look at it. But we're going basically west to east along here. So Springview Estates, Meadow Creek on the left side. Springview Estates is gonna have an HOA of $850 annually. Meadow Creek is gonna have an HOA of $300 annually. And then Windsor Place on this right side is gonna have an HOA of $220 quarterly. There wasn't any actives to pull from. I'll pull some more actives. I'll pull some actives as we go along. It's just that those neighborhoods didn't have anything active within it right now. And then on the left side is gonna be the start of the trails, which in there, they're gonna have an HOA of $840 annually. They'll have an active four bed, three and a half bath, 2001, 3,278 square feet at $625,000. And the trails is a really big neighborhood. That one has like a golf course in it. And then I'll pull into uh, my first neighbor neighborhood up here, which is gonna be West Falls Village, which is the one here on this right side. So I'll pull into this, show you guys some of the houses in here, but they have an active, that's gonna be a five bed, four bath, 2000 year build, 3,550 square feet at $765,000. This is also like the main area. Once we get up to Teal is where gonna be like your shopping, some of the restaurants are, and uh, we'll drive by that here in a second. But here's what some of the older houses looked like back in like 2000 that were getting built along Main Street. Looks like we're in a cul-de-sac here. Hop out of this and then hop back onto Main Street. As you can see, the trees are uh, pretty grown out around here. We'll go through some new construction stuff where the trees will not look like this. So there's not really any bad traffic until you maybe get to like Legacy or uh, around the tollway. Uh, but over here, there's not any real bad traffic. They have the lanes pretty spread out. And then once you get back down into uh, downtown Frisco is when you start seeing more traffic because you get back down into a Wendley. But we'll be down in downtown Frisco here in a little bit. Uh, from, from about this point to downtown Frisco is about three minutes away, uh, depending on how you hit, hit the lights. Now, this is the intersection of Teal and Main. So this is where like the banks are gonna be. You got some gas stations. You got a Kroger over here. You also have some other learning centers, some preschools. Uh, things like that. So Teal is a pretty good area to kind of live close to or live off of because there are some pretty good amenities around this area. But um, what else do they have? They have they have a Starbucks. They have Golden Pot Chinese Restaurant, the UPS Store, Affinity NeuroCare. They got a YMCA, a church. 
And then the next neighborhood on the left side would be King's Garden, another really old neighborhood um, within, within Frisco uh, that's in, been here for a while. So they have an HOA at $460 annually. And then on the right side, we'll be coming up on Park West, which is a, a new development along Legacy Road uh, that's pretty done for the most part. Uh, I would say they do have this piece of land along here that's currently for sale for like $9 million, which is just like, Meh. All right, into Park West. So Park West is gonna have an HOA of $1,089 annually. And uh, they're gonna have an active in here, a three bed, two bath, 2020 year build, 2,448 square feet at $699,000. Now the houses in here, they're gonna be a hit or miss with some of you guys. Uh, these houses are basically called shotgun houses where they're more just like down than kind of the width. But this is essentially what these homes look like, though they do have like some good variety. They're kind of, uh, well, how do you say, uh, cute? You know, they're kind of like cute little houses, but if you're looking for like a bigger yard and a little bit more privacy uh, and more space within the house, maybe not the best option for these types of homes, though there are quite a bit of homes selling like this uh, and getting built like this nowadays because the developers just really want to pack them in, you know? They want to get top dollar. But yeah, this will be interesting. This field right here, what will, what is to come? I don't know, it's for sale. I got a big for sale sign in front of it. All right, King's Garden is right across. Uh, just talked about that neighborhood. Like I said, go check out my teal video. Go check out my legacy video. I do more of a drive-through um, on those neighborhoods. All right, now we're to the intersection of Legacy and Main Street. So once again, you got a couple banks, you got more gas stations, but you also got the HEB, which I saw some stuff. It seems like Frisco might be bringing another HEB. That could be the potential. And also guys, uh, Universal Studios, here's a quick update on that, has been put on a pause. I think the people need to fight. And basically, I think we need to hold uh, the roads hostage and the traffic hostage, and then we can agree to uh, building the Universal Studios. I think that's how we're gonna fix like the roads and the traffic and the in infrastructure if we hold that hostage and say, no mayor, we will not vote for this unless you fix all these other things, which is kind of what's been going on in the meetings right now with people. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see, but I'll kind of just keep you guys up to date uh, with what's going on with that. All right, HEB is over on the left side. So uh, yeah, if you're gonna live off Main Street, Legacy, Dallas Parkway, you're gonna be right by the HOB up on this uh, north side of Frisco along Main Street. There's also some more restaurants around here. You got kind of like more nicer things. You got Kava, Pi Five, Free Birds, Muya, uh, Snappy Salads. I guess that's just like a little bit better than that of like McDonald's that was on like the Teal and, and Dairy Queen. I guess these are a little bit better. All right, now we're at the Dallas Parkway. We're going under the tollway right now and this leads us into the beginning of downtown Frisco. You got the medical city on the right side. You got more, I would say even nicer. You got like little sushi restaurants, maybe some burger joints in here. Gets like a little bit more of like the eats, good eats in here. And then you got Toyota Stadium up on the left side as well as uh, the National Soccer Hall of Fame. And then you have some more restaurants and then you got Coleman uh, which is like the main street of Frisco Square. Uh, but here's basically Frisco Square and what it looks like. This area kind of lacks in like bringing people to it. I don't, it's not, I mean, I've lived in Frisco my whole life, guys, and I've never been like, oh, let's go down to Frisco Square, and check it out. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's, it's kind of whatever in my sense. I'm more of like a Legacy West or uh, what am I? Yeah, I'm more of like a Legacy West or Shops of Legacy type of person. All right, G-Wagon, let's get to moving. All right, actually, no, that's my bad. There's a person here. That's my bad. I need to be patient, calm down. There's no rush. There's pedestrians in the way. All right, back on Main Street, you can see the uh, Toyota Stadium here, which it doesn't look like a stadium because it's actually built into the ground, which is pretty awesome on Frisco's part and how they built it because it's not really an eyesore, you know? It's kind of just dug into the ground, uh, which makes it look a little bit nice around here. And you don't really, even really notice there's a huge ginormous stadium uh, over here. I mean, the, the Cowboys, the star looks bigger than the Toyota Stadium because uh, that one's like literally above ground. All right, now we're going over the train tracks. 
uh, getting down into downtown Frisco now. This is gonna lead us into Frisco Original Donation, which is gonna have an HOA of nothing. They're also gonna have an active right now, a four bed, three bath, 1981 year build, 3,209 square feet at $570,000. All right, going over the train tracks now. Uh, even over in 423, I mean, maybe not nowadays, but I mean, back in the day, I could hear the train coming through, uh, living all the way off of 423 and that far. I could hear the train coming through. I don't hear it as much nowadays, but sometimes I do. All right, this is where the traffic will start around like three o'clock in some areas. I'm currently driving at noon, so this is a pretty good time to kind of drive through this area. Not too much traffic over here. Um, and then behind these buildings is where the Frisco original donation where you're gonna find a lot older homes uh, In this area you're gonna find homes built all the way in the early 1900s So that's old and then you're gonna have some that some stuff that's like completely new construction around here because I will say the downtown Frisco area is slowly but sure surely going under renovations they built the rail district which is what we're in right now and they have kind of added some more new stuff at the end but it's not I don't know, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's really doing the job that they were intending for like bringing foot traffic and things like that. I think uh, I think they still need to fix up some areas uh, around here and just make it, I mean, it, it is pretty walkable, I will say, but uh, the types of shops and things, it's, it's kind of whatever. Like I said, I'm more of a shops at Legacy or Legacy West type of person. I'm, I'm not really like, oh, let's go hit downtown Frisco. Uh, there's not really any bars, but they are bringing a brewery so that could change things we'll see hmm. all right more uh more little shops there's some boutiques there's a gas station here and then this is one of their new areas in here in the rail district which some businesses have been like closing along here which is why i go back into my point of like i don't know if it's exactly doing everything that they uh plan for it to do around here i, I i'm not quite sure I think they were expecting a little bit more uh, people around those areas when, once they finish those uh, buildings back there, but maybe one day. All right, now we're coming up to Preston uh, Road. This is also where like the uh, main Frisco Fire Department is. There's also a Walmart along here on Preston Road and uh, just some other like automobile repair shops that are on this other side, some older paint and body shops. Uh, on the right side is where you're gonna see the fire department. And that's like the main fire department. And I'm also, once we get over Preston, I'm gonna go through the villages on Main. This is a new community by Normandy Homes. Now, they haven't released like anything on it yet. Uh, it's still really new. They do have it up on their website. They do show things coming soon. All right, and this is Preston Road. And guys, I've done a video on all of these. So Preston Road, Teal, Legacy, Dallas Parkway. So go check out my Frisco playlist if you wanna see more of the neighborhoods that run along those streets. All right, this is Brinkman Ranch on the left side. Really huge ranch. The family's been slowly selling off stuff. If you guys have been watching my channel, I kind of talk about this neighborhood, but this is a huge patch of land that is a lot of potential for more things to come around the Frisco area and, and developments. Um, you're starting to see Lexington Parks, which is the neighborhood I just did a video over, um, is going into that uh, ranch now. All right, this is the Villages on Main. Like I said, a brand new community. They don't really have anything up yet. Looks like they're building in their amenity center, but this is what Normandy Homes is gonna be building in within here. So this could be another good opportunity for some of you uh, trying to look uh, around like the Frisco, the Main Street area. Looks like they're just uh, building their amenity center right now. Well, can I go out this way? Pouring concrete. All right, I thought I could get out that way. It looks like I'm gonna be going around the whole neighborhood, so. Have a look, oh wow, that's a, uh, that's a mound of dirt right there. But yeah, no actives in here, so nothing really to talk about. They also didn't have like the HOA or any of those community details on here, but uh, I can only imagine that. And it looks like these are gonna be like 40 foot lots in here. 
uh, but probably starting around a million dollars would be my guess. <laughs> Guys, the Fields of Frisco is going to be selling Highland Homes, 1.8 million. So that's going to get really interesting with the uh, price structures around here. Uh, once the Fields of Frisco is in, I mean, that is just going to be super expensive and just bring up bring up the price of a lot of things. All right, now there's some other older neighborhoods kind of in this back area on this right side. So you have like Hillcrest Highlands, Preston Oaks, Preston Glen, Creeks on Coit. All those have an HOA of nothing. And those are older homes in there. Once again, like 1980s, 1990s. Uh, we're coming up on Hillcrest. Uh, on the left side is still Brinkman Ranch. And then Emory Park, which is going to have an HOA of $65 monthly. That's going to be a neighborhood coming up here on the right side. And then we're also coming up on Coit Road. On the left is also the new Lexington Parks and Lexington Country. Lexington Parks is like the newer side. They have some like townhomes, single family homes in here. Here's Emory Park. Let me just show you these houses within here. But this is a pretty small neighborhood. There's nothing active within this one. That's the old, there was like an old farm building in here and they kept it, I believe. People that used to own all this land. Let's see if I can find it. Oh yes, this one here on this right side. They stayed. <laughs> and then they built the neighborhood around it. I remember when this house was just a huge field. They owned all this land and now they actually kept their house and uh, built the rest of the neighborhood around it. All right, and then this is Coit Road. So Lexington is gonna have an HOA of $1,200 annually, but they do have some, uh, I believe the HOA for the, the townhomes was like $2,100 annually. And their, their new side's a little bit more expensive than their uh, older side. Within there, they're gonna have an active five bed, five bath, two half bath, 2017 year build, 5,158 square feet, listed at $1,399,000. And then along here is where they're starting to bring in more of their commercial stuff. So you can see some of these buildings are starting to get um, put up and then there aren't really any businesses within them yet. They do have like a preschool over here and then Lexington Country on the right side. Let me jump into this neighborhood, Cypress Creek. Cypress Creek is gonna have an HOA of $600 annually. Uh, and this also borders along Bacchus Park, which is a huge park where uh, a lot of people come out to, to either just like have fun, recreational stuff, or like, um, you know, rec league soccer, lacrosse, flag football. They have a couple baseball fields along here. This is what Cypress Creek looks like. All right, and then after this, we really just have two more neighborhoods and then we'll be along Custer. And then across this neighborhood is the Estates at Shattuck Park. That one's gonna have an HOA of $850 annually. Uh, you'll see that most of these neighborhoods, uh, the newer ones are gonna have like HOAs upwards of like $800, $1,000, $2,000. And then these older neighborhoods either have none or it's like a $400 to $600 annual HOA. And it's due to these new communities building in more amenities uh, there are some HOAs that will take care of like your lawn care we 
Okay, Estates at Shattuck Park is on the left side. Uh, within there, they're gonna have an active new construction, a 2023 four bed, three bath, two half bath, 3,300 square feet at $905,000. Uh, the entrance for Bacchus Park is on the right side. Looks like there's some people fishing out in the pond over there. And then this will take us to our last development, last neighborhood along Main Street. We're going over Independence Parkway. And then this is the Grove. So the Grove has a couple of different options. They have some like CB Jenny townhomes at like the $500,000, $600,000 range. And then they also have some other models um, upwards of like the million dollar on like 60 foot lots. The left side is where like the new development of the Grove is gonna come in. So they are gonna be bringing stuff in on the left side. Uh, but their main area that they've already built out with the phases is on this right side. They are still finishing up some parts of the neighborhood, but they will be done soon. All right, this is into the Grove, and there's also an entrance on Custer, and we're pretty close to now 121. So if you live kind of over in this area, you're not gonna really be taking the Dallas North Tollway. Well, you might once you hop on 121 and then take the Dallas North Tollway, but for the most part, people that live around here are usually just taking or driving on Custer down to 121 and then hopping on there and either going to 75 down to Dallas or the Dallas North Tollway, depending on if you wanna pay for tolls. Uh, for example, within the Grove, they're gonna have an active five bed, four and a half bath, 2018 year, 3,263 square feet at $865,000. Uh, there are amenity centers on this left side. I'm not, I'm, I'm, am I gonna fit? Am I gonna fit? Mm, I don't know if I'm gonna fit. Oh, this is a, this is awkward. This dude's just got his door open. We'll just patiently wait. I'm in no rush. All right, he just slipped on by. All right, so here's what the Grove looks like. Really pretty homes in here. You got Shattuck, American Legend. And then pretty good amenity centers. It's also one of the neighborhoods that's like, has events too. Oh wow, I like this house right here. Straight ahead. Kinda has a nice curb appeal to it. And driving through the neighborhood, there is a pretty good amount of variety just looking at these houses. Uh, I feel like Lexington, when I just went through their new stuff, like I felt like the land in homes that were like the town homes had good variety, but the uh, larger homes, they kind of really all look the same with that stucco. Uh, this one seems to have pretty good variety between like a stone, brick, paneling. All right, let me figure out how to get back onto Main Street and then basically we'll be done with this video, guys, and that's... That will be Main Street. But all these neighborhoods are gonna go to Frisco ISD. The schools are gonna be pretty close to each other. Uh, not too far of a commute, especially when you live in Frisco, there's elementary schools all over the place, so. All right, and then across the street is where their new section is gonna be coming in. And I can only imagine that at some point they're gonna have to build a street light here because the other side of the development is gonna be starting on this field along here. All right, and then on the right side is where those CB Jenny townhomes are. There's also an apartment complex for the Grove too, so potentially, you know, you could be living there while you're getting your house built or just having your house built in general. It is a new uh, apartment center, so it should be pretty nice within the inside. Uh, and then this takes us to Custer, which more stuff along here, CVS, Walgreens, uh, some other fast food restaurants. But that's gonna do it for Main Street and majority of the neighborhoods uh, that are along Main Street. So if you have any questions about any of those neighborhoods that I brought up, maybe the new construction ones, please send me a text. I am a realtor, would love to help you guys out, uh, you and your family, if you are looking for something right now in the Frisco area or just in North Dallas in general. Once again, 
Thank you guys so much for going over a thousand subscribers. I, uh, I was able to monetize the channel and so far we've made $6. So shout out to you guys. Thank you. Other than that, peace out y'all. Take it easy. Thanks for checking out my channel and watching that video. I got more videos floating around here. If you're in the market to buy or sell real estate in the DFW area, contact me, Daniel, at the Home Expert team. I will be happy to answer any of your questions. Uh, besides that, uh, bye.